Holland to serve, and it's a rocket straight at Allison to start. The animal that is Allison is shut straight down from Mewson. That's a commanding start from the big Dutch blocker. This game will have it all. Mewson standing at 6 9. Roa at 6'6", six, six, really demonstrating the new era of men's beach volleyball. High, physical, big service pressure, big block pressure and side-out pressure. Hand over against Mewson this time. Big complaints as well from the Netherlands. Roa. It's arguing slightly over maybe. It's a very close call. Bruno wanted that decision very early for Brazil and he got exactly what he wanted, Bruno. Alisson and Bruno, world champions so far, beating Numador and Varenhorst, the other very, very strong Dutch team in the world championship final in The Hague earlier on in June this year. Alisson, the reigning Olympic silver medalist. Played with Bruno since 2014. Touch up for Bruno, Allison running full steam ahead into the stand but can't keep the ball in play. Roa Mewson took the world by storm by winning that world championships in Star Yablonki in 2013. Pinging the ball high, big service pressure, playing very much an indoor game. High line is red from Brower. Wipe off the block of Alisson. This game is being played in a different airspace. Alisson at 6'8". Not the biggest player on court anymore, is he? Just goes right the way through this one. Brower feasts through it off the top of the thing fingers of Alisson. Bruno. Phenomenal defense and brilliant ball control from Bruno. He parks and picks up what was a huge, huge spike. From Brower, look at this, full force. Bruno makes it look easy. Listen, and Bruno, it's the fifth final four of 2015. Gold at the World Champs, as we said, gold in the start. They backed it up two, two events in a row and a gold in Yokohama just a couple of weeks ago. Point goes to Brazil. It's a handling error, slightly low. Right hand coming through a little bit quicker than the left hand from Houston. Service error from Bruno. Teams change ends. Three four, the change to my final match here, Bruno played a long time with Pedro. A gold medal with Pedro Salgado actually in 2006 at the Under 21 World Championships. Addison's won on the World Tour 18 times first. Bruno eight. Wide play again. This indoor standard volleyball. This time from Alisson who takes out Alexander Brow, who's on the move, hit off the shoulder, Alisson being the kind gentleman that he is, goes and makes sure that his opponent is okay. This is a big blow from Alisson. He's an animal off the face and the shoulder. This is the future of beach volleyball. Hard hitting, demanding, spiking from big, big athletic specimens. Alisson wins the battle, but I'm sure he hasn't won the war here. Big, big plays from both sides early on in this one. Allison jump, float, serve. He's going to charge in to block. Burr the target again. This time he takes pace off the ball, shoots it high line and gets his just rewards for what's a very good play. This Dutch team, two world tour victories. 27 and 25 years old. They go big from the baseline, so expect a few service errors from Brewer and Mewson. It's their fifth final.
final four. They've had a silver this year in Chazao and Lucerne. And gold in Croatia, bronze in Stad. And they're looking to medal here. Both teams will have this and one more game left. And if they win one, the worst you can do is a silver medal. Big ace from Bro at this time. High as arm swing goes right to left. Bullies Allison to the right side. Too hard. Just right-handed scoop, not keeping any control on the ball. Allison this time. So the back to play, and it's Bruno that has to side out now. It's a lovely line shot scurrying across the sand. Bro, but not really getting anywhere near that. Bruno. He's only six foot one, so he relies on exquisite ball control. Exceptional reader of the game. And if you look, one thing to always look out for with Bruno is the fact that he takes a huge step in on his approach to allow that ball to get over his shoulder. So he's at his most vertical every time he spikes the ball. And he has to be at six foot one, that's for sure. And you'll see the big step in on the approach does aid that seven up. Bruno again with that step in, but it's well read. It was a double up on the angle, I think. And there's a big block from Alisson. Fifth clenching celebrations for what is one of the biggest blockers on the FIVB World Tour. He's huge, Alisson. It's not just his height that makes him intimidating. It's his build. He's a big, wide unit, Alisson. Serving this time. More shots from Borough Mewson. It's Mewson this time, it's not all about power. They're playing from a high airspace. They can just roll the ball around with the wrist as well and cause problems for teams. Dutch volleyball on the male side is certainly on the up. It's a crushing blow from Brewer. Bruno wipes off the block clever play player with great vi vision read the game well Bruno teams are trading early on here Allison and Bruno with the season they have have to be people's favorites but at this level anyone can really beat anyone lovely high line Head to head, these teams have played each other four times with Anderson and Bruno winning three out of the four. Backing up the fact, well, their favourites tag for this one. That band ace will bring joy. Apologies from Holland, but I'm sure they will not be too sorry about that one. Teams will be trying to serve as flat as possible to give the opposition as little time as possible in their service receive to track the ball. Hence you get the old net band favour here and there along your way. 10-10, we're one away from the technical and it might just be a slight mental advantage for whichever team goes in and charge. And it's an ace from Bruno and you can see that little mental advantage that we're speaking about. It means that Brazil go in fired up after an ace from Bruno. Holland just marched straight to their zone quietly, but still probably pretty confident. Both teams trading, some big blocks from both sides. It's exactly what we thought would happen. Bruno in his 23rd final four is on the left of your screen, the defender. We got him spinning, we got him spinning. Alright guys, This Brazilian team losing one on the way from the American team, Triborn and John Hyland, but beating Italy fairly easily. In Chile, they won in three. They beat another Brazilian team, hot new Brazilian team actually, Barbosa and Cavales, 16-14 in the last, for squeezing past Emmanuel and Mercado in 
who watched it yesterday, was an epic, epic encounter between the old school and the slightly newer school from Brazil. 15-12, Alisson and Bruno won that one in the final one for beating Bockerman and Flugen. Her actually impressing this year, the German pairing on the World Tour. Well, oh, they've had a couple of scares, Alisson and Bruno, but they've come through them. The biggest scares, teams from their own nation. Bruno can't back up the ace to the previous point and then can only fire into the net. You see nowadays it's all about service pressure from the back line. As you see, and it's a huge ace. Brewer and Mewson really do bring it from the baseline. It's Brewer this time. It's a high toss, high contact, and a quick snap from the big man. Allison's hands just drift out to the ball. Early platform, swinging his arms. That's better from the big man from Brazil. Wide plays, hit seam. Allison playing this indoor style game. Brune whipping the ball out to the aerial. Just big serve after big service, big float serve from Allison, who you see that the odd blocker will just calm down on the big jump serves because, for example, it gets very tiring if you're a blocker who has to jump at the net, jump with the serve, and have to play side out. Bruno's a target here, though, he takes it. Usual step inside, not as line, but the Dutch are equal to it. Alisson opens up on the line. Quick snap to the left-hand side of the court. Bruno knows exactly what he's doing, teeing his partner up. And Alisson unleashes one of the biggest plays of the game so far. 13 all. What reply have the Netherlands got? Another block, this time from Alisson. That's two big plays in a row from the animal that is Alisson. And he is taking this game by the scruff of the neck. He is a big bully, Alisson. And that is two big points in a row from Brazil. Pressure is now on the Netherlands. Bruno gets a dig and they have a chance to win three in a row here. Off is good. From Brower. Brower chasing now to set it. Mewson is under stress here, but he does just shoot it high and long and Allison takes his cap off because he knows that there's a misjudgment play from him really he's done well to track that Newson Allison was watching it out all the way but then it just dropped in 14 all we're tied at the change of ends Good block from Hewson because he knows that Bruno's under pressure. He knows that he's going backwards, so he knows that he has to delay the timing on the block, which he does, and he just hangs up there. Knows exactly where the ball is. Bruno has to go higher than that if he wants to beat. Brewer and Hewson. Allison from the wide area again. He loves this wide set. Just demands it down the line. Beautiful swing from Alisson, and it's like that little jumping in on the angle, doubling up on the angle really, the Dutch leaving the line open, Alisson sees it early and just glides the ball home. Oh, Alisson with a huge kill block, biggest one of the day in the battle of giants here in Long Beach. Alisson stalks his prey and then goes and gets him. The ball goes straight down from the big Brazilian bully. That's a huge play from Brazil. Left hand of Alisson increases his dominance on this game. Netherlands need a timeout to recover from that. Alisson in the past few points has really started dictating. Funny thing is, is that the outside Brazil 
have made the bigger plays, but we're still only at one point in this game. The Netherlands are still right in this. Slightly quieter, slightly more despondent bench from the Netherlands. But they still know with the service pressure that they present possess sorry they will cause problems for Bruno and Alisson Brewer takes his place on the left side Houston on the right Bruno is ready to play defense Houston does get past Alisson this time but doesn't get past Bruno but it's a deflection off the platform and out of play it's a much needed side out, that wide ball and that hard snap back is effective. We're tied at 16, it's a race to 21. And Alisson for me has just been at a slightly different level. Bruno off the net again, probably a purposeful play because they know that they don't want to throw him too tight because it just plays into the Netherlands game. This is better from the Netherlands though. You gain a point in transition. This one from Bruno isn't his normal standard net band clipper. It's good reactions from use and just setting his partner up bro to go and get the point. This game is swinging both ways. Bruno needs to find a side out though. He's well off the net again. The high line is very, very strong. Keeping him away from the net to to make Brewer and Mewson think that they have to pull or open up that point right there. Interesting stuff. The tighter that Bruno gets underneath the block at six foot one, the more danger he's in. So really, Anderson's just keeping him off the net. Outside, it's tight, but I think that's a point to Brazil. Net touch against. A nice shot originally from Brewer but there's a net touch against him off that knuckle play so swings round again and it's 18-17-3 will do it for Brazil in which Alisson and Bruno have started well physicality though from Holland make them a threat all the time oh I was going to say good lead but the line judge has given it in standing down this time with the jump float it's Bruno that delivers an ace at the most important time. Confusion in the camp of Holland. Hubby and wife served it, just hits the tape. Short ball to back it up is good. Brewer with the knuckle line somehow finds the point for Holland. Good serving, playing games in the mind from Bruno, bringing Holland short and previously making them play the deep one. This is business time. So teams go for a timeout. Allison has made one of the biggest blocks of the week. This set. Byron Mewson playing their usual physical game, giving it large from the baseline. Big in the block and in offense are right in this one. Imagine that Bruno is going to be asked the question if he can side out at the end of this second set. He might have to keep the ball away from Alisson. Playing this wide game as well, this very fashionable game to play with big, big players. Get him out wide and give them the whole court to swing into as hard as they can. It's not a game that he played so much with. Manuel, his previous partner, in which he won a silver medal at the London Olympics with. Alex Brewer. This could either go one way or another with this team. Under a serves from the baseline. Lever make this Brazil team out of system. Will possibly give them a point for absolutely nothing with a service error. Here we go, big important time, it is a good serve, but Bruno passes well. He's just inside into the middle of the court, Bruno. He's dug, but there's no getting that one from Holland. That's a classy play from the smallest player on court at a very important time that's brought up the first set point for the current world champions. That's how much it means to them. 
Left side, Bruh. Alisson bullies the Netherlands again. This time to win the first set. Two big blocks at big times. Alisson, I think, from this view, will see better. Jumps in angle, does he? Hard to see from there, but the form's good. He's high. The chin's up from Alisson, and that is good enough to win the first set for Brazil. Two or three huge blocks from Alisson has been the difference here. He is the game changer. Alisson. And Bruno just a bit too consistent for the Netherlands. There's still a long way to go in this one, I assure you of that. It's 21-18. It's close, but big plays from Alison and Bruno at big times means they take the first set. As we have a look at some highlights from a very entertaining first set. We're ready to go again. Bruno, who decided to float the ball at the end of the set, they've got rewarded with an ace, goes back to his big, powerful jump serve. From the left side, yes. wide fast plays again, big knuckle, Alexander Burrett. Just very, very hard to stop. More power from the jump serve. Oh, hand in fault called against Bruno, who acknowledges the referee, that's a rare one on the World Tour to actually agree with the referee that the hand setting was poor. So that's a three point for Brunusen who start with the side out and making a defensive play which is encouraging for them. Alexander Burr again with a fierce jump serve. Parking very central so they jump in angle here. You can see that early from the Dutch. Burr starting very central in his defensive position. That block angle has worked a lot for these guys. Slightly inside, change in serve, Newsom is blocked from Alisson and then the second one can only collide with the net, so that's a point to Brazil, they get back even in this one, no Busen, sorry, Musen and Brewer coached by Heis Hannes, he suggests that in big tournaments like this one, you only need to play 80% of the full game and that's good enough when the pressure is on get you over the line. Be interesting to know what he's thinking now. Three, Crushing two. blow from the Netherlands though. Change of serve the last couple on to Mewson. Made that spiking error in the last one but this one was a different class from the right side. Short serves on Bruno. Bruno so agile to get underneath it and then he plays Jumbo and that's a carry I think. A double touch in the defense of Alexander Brewer and he's complaining at the moment so he plays it with one hand so how his question is, is if he played it with one hand how can he be called for a double touch so Jumbo oh it's really hard to see from that angle his hands look like to me that they're together he's still arguing his point across here but it's a good decision from the referee. It's hard to tell on that camera angle, though, that's for sure. More jump serve pressure this time from the smaller Bruno. Houston. Oh, well done from Houston. Falls inside, and for a big guy, he manages to just guide it back to line, even though he's on such a big angle on his approach. He just sneaks it on down there. 43. First change of ends in this one for a Mewson. Started well. 
Allison as the target. There's another rocket jumps up. Allison then chews through another monster spike. Outstanding play from the animal Allison. Wide setting. He does love that seam and that line from that wide position. He's very, very efficient, very effective, and hard to stop. A little bit of a windmill play from Allison. Second chance, and that's Robert Newson, six foot nine, just chopping that ball on the angle. Fast, little off speed shot. Good reaction and footwork for a big man as well. Matched with good ball control. Bruno takes that step in to then just shoot one down the line, but rare spiking error from Bruno just gives Burham Houston a two point lead. They'll start to gain confidence here, and anything it will do is mean that they try and unleash on their serves a little bit more when King get a couple in front. It really opens up the confidence to serve even tougher. This one from Bruno is a lovely little shot almost Todd Rogers-esque that one from Bruno parks his feet inside the ball just chops it back it's a familiar shot to what made Todd Rogers <laughs> Todd Rogers shoots line it's good nowhere near Allison. Bruin Newsom playing a very effective game. Both shoot line well. And they both cannon on the angle. Oh, big serves. Ace! From Brewer. As we said, when you start to feel in control, you can really unleash on your serves. And this one, the hubby and wife, through Allison and Bruno, they just look at each other and watch the ball land inside the tape. Beautiful serving from Brewer. This time Bruno from the middle again. He loves spiking from here. And we've seen that a couple of times. Confusion. Bruno is losing the plot here. He's sure that went in. Line judge and referee both say no way. And the ball went out. But it was very close. We might have a better view of it here. Oh, just out. It was agonizingly close for Bruno. You can understand why he was frustrated. Easily mistaken from the spiker. But the four-point lead is now with the Netherlands. Bruno slowing down the play here, cleaning his sunglasses, but I think there's a bit of gamesmanship behind this this call from the right side Brazilian defender. More service pressure. Allison's a target. This time coming inside. Tries to hit sharp angle, Allison. And it's another error. I make that three hitting errors from Brazil in not so many points in this Dutch team. Former world champions are starting to get some speed on there. Allison is taking a bullet there. Reverse play. Ouch from Allison. It's a hard, high rocket from the Brazilian bully. <laughs> Seven ten again set just straight up. It's called for a setting felony actually. Again. Reverse play, rare reverse play from the Dutch this. Brewer trying to outrun Allison playing a little bit of cat and mouse, just shoots one down the line. Too good for Brazil. Four point lead again. You'll see as the game's changing. There's different types of set. That's the first time we've seen the Netherlands play that reverse play straight after the handling fault from Robert Mewson. Bruno with that casual step in again to get the ball on the right shoulder. Just chops it back on that short line once again. And that's exquisite stuff from Bruno.
He loves getting his feet inside the ball and just shooting high line or short line back. He's got both in his locker, Bruno, and that's a lovely, lovely, delicate shot. Oh, Alisson with his third massive kill block of the game so far. The game that this Dutch team play mean that with a blocker like Alisson, they're going to run into trouble at times. Alisson's early, he's formed, and he's aggressive at the net. More reverse play here from the Netherlands. This time the chop angle is very, very good, and there's a point. As we go to a technical timeout, the Netherlands are starting to spray the ball about in offense here, and they're taking control, but Alisson is not letting Rora Musin run away quite yet. So the players come out back on the court. It's Alison Bruno that won the first set in pathetic fashion, but this hard hitting game from Rora and Musin that's just changed a little bit. They've decided to mix up the sets, utilizing the wide set a bit more and the reverse. Causing problems for Alisson and Bruno. Bruno has played very well though, spiking from the centre of court on a regular basis. Alisson is off the net, out of system, but that's a crushing blow from Alisson. Sarudi. A lot of what he's played so far has gone to the line or down the scene. That one from Alisson was a belter on the angle. There's a long way to go in this one. Again. More wide balls to play. It's a knuckle line that's to the perimeter of court. It's just long. You'll see these big guys. They're going to want to play everything to the last meter of court. The size that they're playing at minus Bruno. If you can find the perimeter, it's almost too hard to handle for the opposition. Alisson will serve and then chase straight in to try and get another monster kill block. Yeah! Unstoppable from Alexander Brewer played together for three, four years now, this Dutch team. Having come from almost nowhere to win the World Champs in 2013, they've established themselves as one of the most feared teams on the FIVB World Tour. Short play, short serve, Bruno is caught out. Excellent stuff from Eusen. He's utilised this flat, fast float serve throughout the game, just drops that one short just has to be careful of seeing Allison storm through on the second ball. Oh, Allison, we've seen four of those now. When he does make a block, that ball goes straight back down from where it came from. The arching arms of Alisson. Every time he loves taking that angle. The backup serve from Bruno is poor though, so it lets the Dutch off the hook. Head up to the sky for Alisson. He's not going to want this to go to a third set. Day after three game Friday, where all men's teams had to play three games yesterday. It's a brutal battle. You saw Dalhauser in the center at the end of the game. The interview just saying they struggled through it. Yeah. So, service error going hell for leather, the Dutch, and it just brings up an opportunity here for the Brazilians because if they can sneak back here. 
get back evens, then they're right in this game. The dig from Bruno just parks and gets underneath it. Second chance. This time Allison with the break. We're going to a third phase of play here. Rara from the outside. Trapped straight back on one from Bruno. This time on the reverse. And it's long. Persistence in defense does pay off for Brazil. Bruno and Allison. Well, you can see by their celebrations. He said that one was a big point. That was the opportunity to get them right back in this set. Boy, oh boy, did they take it. They scrambled through the whole point. Almost second best. But eventually forcing the error from the Dutch. Timeout called. Timeout called because the Dutch are now feeling the heat here in Long Beach. First phase of play. Bruno just parks and dominates that defense. Second one's an Allison block, if I remember. Yeah, good cover from the Dutch, but that one is always too far over the right shoulder, so it gives another opportunity for Brazil, and it's just that reverse ball shot back on the angle from Eusen that leads the play. Allison championing it. his fellow world champion for what was unbelievable defense. This game is just spun around again. Dancers are in for what is becoming a full house here in Long Beach. Quite gusty out here. It's tough for these big guys. More hitting errors. Brewer gets up to try and really feast through that one, but misses the sideline by some way. Straight approach, that arm always drifting away. Second chance. Allison jumps in angle again. We've seen it three or four times. Allison goes late, takes that space, but he's so disciplined to stay high and force the block straight back down from where it came from. Allison and his blocking has been a big, big factor in this Brazilian performance. Every time they need a point, he either gets a block or Bruno scoops one at the back like that. Bruno, that's huge from Brazil. They are picking up the pace here in Long Beach after a massive block from Alisson. Bruno delivers one of the best defensive plays of the entire day. Bruno just sits there, waits, takes the hard hit, and then with the weapon straight down the middle of the court, Bruno, that is world class. Under pressure here, relentless from Brazil. Br Bruno and Allison, ruthless. It's Allison with another big kill block. You just can't see any daylight underneath the shadow of Allison's hands here. The ball again. There's no covering the blocking from Allison. And now Bruno makes another defensive play, and it's a rare moment for what has been a tough phase of this game for the Netherlands. Change of ends. Two points will do it for Allison and Bruno. They were always trading in this one, but they've really come strong at the end, mostly down to tactical awareness, jumping in on the angle, taking the bigger area of court with the block very, very late. They know that this Dutch team, they love to hit hard, so if you dive in angle, you're going to get some success. Bruno loves his line from the right side, Bruno. Match point to see this team through to the final tomorrow. Stay in the game. Newson hits high off the top of what is a very high block, actually, from Allison. Not many people in the world can go that high over the top of that big man. It's like a match point for Brazil. They're siding out this time, so it should be business as normal for sure. The winner of this, remember, Ferreira Gavira and Downhouse in the centre. Allison for the game. And it's in it just dips in on the back line. Allison's high line takes it for Brazil in what has been 
a very, very scary blocking performance from the animal that is Alisson. Bruno compliments his partner very well. He parks well in defense and makes defensive play after defensive play. These guys are going to the final of the World Series of Beach Volleyball. That one was good enough to take the win, the high line from Alisson, but it wasn't just that high line that was set defining for Brazil. They were losing the whole way through that set and they came good. 15-14 down. I think they went four or five in a row. Blocks from Alisson. Defensive play from Bruno. Holland could not find a way past their Brazilian opponents. And it's Alisson and Bruno that go through to the final tomorrow. 21-18, 21-17. What was an exciting encounter here from the World Series of Beach Volleyballs. We see some highlights. Alisson and Bruno had the wow factor today. That from Alisson was unbelievable. Steps in, takes the angle, and it was blocking like that and defensive play from Bruno that really took the game away from Holland. They had their moments though, the Dutch. They were cruising in the second set, but they lost four in a row, maybe five in a row at a very crucial time, and that was too much as Brazil took the win. It's Alisson and Bruno that win 21-18, 21-17. They go through to the final tomorrow. Who will they play? Usena and Dalhauser and Herrera Guevara. They go a little bit later here this afternoon. But if you want to see how Alisson and Bruno fare, the current world champions, you'll have to join us again.